welcome you all to this course on electron diffraction and imaging or rather i should call it as diffraction and imaging you will be thinking what is uh, the relationship between diffraction and imaging in fact one sh should call this as uh, scattering and imaging yes. in all the lens systems which we use to magnify objects and view it okay essentially a probe of light is falling onto the sample and that interaction scatters that radiation and the scattered radiation is used to form an image the scattered radiation essentially is in the reciprocal space or we call it the fourier space and when the scattered radiation we join all of them together we get that image so you can see that there is a relationship between scattering and image formation in fact uh, if the beam is a coherent beam and the sample turns out to be a crystalline sample okay interference takes place and that gives rise to what we call it as a diffraction and these diffracted beams if you try to join them together we should be able to form a magnified image on the screen okay which should be a true reproduction of that sample okay especially in the case of crystals atomic resolution should be achieved in principle because of various lens aberrations we are not able to do it so in this course of lectures what we will be talking about is how we can get information about the crystal structure from the diffraction okay and the images which we can use it that imaging property can be used to get information about the the different types of defects which are present in the material how the different grains are oriented at length scales okay which are from micron level to nanometer scale and also we can get information about the composition of the sample also from length scales which are from uh, average composition to position of atoms in the unit cell all this information we can get in a microscope using different types of uh, techniques okay like what is called as a high resolution microscopy or a z contrast microscopy or a conventional electron microscopy or what we can call as an analytical electron microscopy using various techniques which are available in these microscopes okay and from region of a sample as small as 1 or 2 nanometers we can get information from micro to atomic level we can obtain that is what is the power of a transmission electron microscope in the course of this talk we will be going through a journey to understand these various types of techniques which are available in the microscope how we can use them to get the best information how to interpret the results which we get it that is what this lecture will essentially cover okay as such only a brief uh, idea of the microscope will be mentioned and about the techniques which are possible but this series of lectures will focus more on how to interpret the results to get the best information about that sample welcome you all once again to this course enjoy this course try your best to understand this uh, subject so that you can use this technique to get the best information about the material and the defects in the material thank you